Uh, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Today, I want to have a look at this tank, the Bat Chat, the Tier 10 Bat Chat, actually, the Bat Chat 25T. Now, a lot of people are saying at the moment that this is by far of the worst Tier 10 light tank. And I, I, I actually disagree with that. And there's a reason I disagree with that, and it's personal to me, because I don't get on with the Sheridan, and I certainly don't get on with the T100LT. Uh, I mean, those two tanks to me are Achilles heels. I, I, I struggle to play them consistently well. Whereas the Bat Chat just fits, in, and I get on really well with it. And I have good fun in the Bat Chat, to be perfectly honest with you. And the reason I have good fun in it is because it suits my style of play to be honest with you, rather than the T100 LT or the Sheridan, which I find notoriously difficult. And, it, it, you know, I, I'm getting better at the Sheridan, but I'm actually getting worse at the T100 LT because I just struggle with those type of tanks. Whereas the Bat Chat, with it being an auto loader, it, it sort of sinks into my brain a little bit differently. So I don't necessarily agree it is the worst tier 10 light tank. I will, however, agree that it is pretty difficult to play this one. It's not the easiest of tanks by any sh any stretch of the imagination, let's be honest. But it's tier 10, and tier 10 is not meant to be easy. Tier 10 is meant to be the pinnacle of the game. You know, you're meant to have grinded your way all the way up to this top tier where you're going to face the better tanks and the better players. So. To say that a tank is going to be noob friendly in tier 10 or super duper easy to play is a bit of a misnomer and it's something I don't agree with. I think the tanks in tier 10 should be difficult to play and I think they should require skill and experience to play them. And you know, the Bat Chat is one of those tanks. It requires some skill, it certainly requires experience, and it requires knowledge of how the tank actually performs, its strengths and its weaknesses. So let's jump into Blitz Stars and let's have a look at some comparisons because we need to compare this tank to other tanks. Here we are in Blitz Stars. As you can see, I've lined up all the tier 10 lights. And I've put the Sheridan right at the end. Why? Because the Sheridan is not a DPM machine. It's a derp machine. And derp machines are different to DPM machines. So I've got the Bet Chat, the Vickers, and the T100 LT. I mean, they are pretty similar tanks. And you can see straight away that the Bat Chat is struggling with its DPM because it's an auto loader. Okay. Or the Vickers and the T100 are single shots. So the Vickers is knocking out close to 3,240. The T100 is churning out 3,406, although that will get nerfed in update 9.1 of no doubt. Uh, that will happen. But why is that? Well, the reason for that is because the Bat Chat is an auto loader. It fires three shots, basically. Now, the alpha damage is 310, which is the same as the T100 and slightly lower than that of the Vickers, but it's throwing 310, you know, every sort of couple of seconds. And then you've got a long reload of almost 14 seconds. But this is the thing, I mean, you've got to remember that it's knocking out close to a thousand damage in a very short space of time. So it's a little bit of a derpy DPM monster. It's a sort of hybrid because it's that auto loader. And this is where a lot of people get confused thinking that, oh, well, the Vickers is this and the LT is that. Now, the LT is in a, a league of its own at the moment. I mean, it is by far too strong, okay? I'm not saying it's broken, I'm not saying it's OP, but it's by far too strong and it will be tinkered with. But the Bat Chat is being overlooked for all the wrong reasons. Now, look, let, let's get a few things straight. DPM, okay, damage per minute, is if you high roll every single shell that you fire, and you fire every single shell, one after the other, without delay, okay? So in the case of the Vickers, every 9.25 seconds, you shoot, you do 350, and you, you penetrate and you cause that damage. That doesn't happen, okay? That is the realms of fantasy. Nobody has got 100% accuracy, and nobody 
is doing high damage rolls every single time in the space of time allotted. That is the potential that the tank has, nothing more. Okay, so the tank of the Vickers has the potential of churning out 3,238 damage every minute. The LT has the potential of knocking out 3,406 every minute, assuming you hit the button every time that that shell is loaded and you penetrate every time and you roll high every time. So just remember that, guys. Now, the bat chat, okay, it's got a longer reload because it, you've got to load a magazine of three shells. Now, it's two and a half seconds per clip, per, per inter shell. So, you know, you fire one, two and a half seconds later, you can fire another, two and a half seconds later, you can fire the third. Uh, and if you roll every single one of those, okay, then you're going to knock out a thousand damage, nearest damage. It's actually 930. I mean, that's if you high roll, obviously, every single time. But that gives you, potentially, quite a lot of damage. Because the way to use the bat chat is to get into a position whereby you can land all three shells and then run away. Now, with the Vickers and the LT, the LT, let's, let's concentrate on the Vickers because the LT is a bit... But it, with the Vickers, you know, the chances are you're going to fire one shell, run away, get into a position then fire the next shell and there'll be time a lot of time between the two unless of course you're one of those super duper hot super duper unicums so be mindful of that now the shell velocity is better than the LT, better than the sheridan but not as good mm, near as damn it not as good as that of the vickers but you can see there despite the fact of its you know of its reload its rate of fire is not too bad it's 9.22 compared to that of the Vickers, which is 9.25. That's pretty, pretty good. Coming down, the aim time is the best. 1.5 seconds compared to 1.54 and 1.72. As I said, disregard the Sheridan. So it's not like it's shabby. Okay, it's got terrible depression of only six degrees, but it's a rear mounted tank and it's not meant to be hauled down as we'll see when we look at the armor. Speed, speed's not bad, 65 kilometers an hour. Okay, that's three kilometers slower than the T100, but it's the same as the Vickers. Power to weight ratio is the best. And you know, it is pretty, pretty decent. When we keep going down, you can see here, it's terrain resistance, not that bad. It's camo profile, not that bad. You know, it's, it's, it's not a bad tank. It has a 75% credit coefficient compared to 84 of that of the Vickers. Um, and where it really struggles is when you start looking at the armor. I mean, it's got no armor. It's a bat chat. And everybody knows that if you're in a bat chat, load your HE and it's like goodbye, good night Vienna. But when you start then looking at its stats, it's only got a 52.73% win rate. It's beating the Sheridan, but it's pretty low when you compare it to the Vickers and the T100. The average damage is pretty low. It's the lowest of all the tier 10 lights. Its damage ratio is pretty low. Its average kills, better than the Sheridan, but worse than the other two. Kill deaths ratio, better than the Sheridan, worse than the other two. Average spots, pretty low. Survival rate, the lowest. And the amount of players, well, there aren't many of them playing it, look. 6,700, that's more than the Vickers, but a hell of a lot less than the T100, and a hell of a lot less than the Sheridan. So why do people say this is the worst tank well a lot of it has to do with the armor so let's jump into the armor inspector and have a look at that here we are in armor inspector and automatically you can start to see the weaknesses of the bat chat it is very green all over the place now this is it's facing off against an is7 with its standard ammunition and as you can see i mean everything is penetrable everything and even if we start turning it, yeah, you do start get a little bit of these here because it's slow, but no one's going to be hitting that. You're going to be hitting this side. It's a dreadful side scraper. Um, and it's not particularly good haul down because it's only got six degrees. So even if you haul down it, you're still going to be able to pen that turret very easily. And this is the thing about the bat chat that, that it, it's got to remain mobile. You can, you can get a bounce if it does that. Uh, but it hasn't got the armor and the worst thing about the bat chat is as i said if you load a decent he into this thing 
you're going to knock it for six. And that really is the downside of the Batch app. But, as I said, a lot of people are saying it's by far the worst tier 10. And, as I say, I mean, for me, it's not. I mean, I actually get on well with this tank compared to the likes of the T100 and the Sheridan. So, is it truly that bad? Or is it just that we're not getting the most out of it? And that's the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to revisit the bat chat and revisit our own way of gameplay and our style of play. Now, I'm the first to admit, I am not a fantastically great lights player. I'm pretty sucky, but I enjoy the bat chat. And I'm just gonna show you how I play the bat chat and that maybe helps you. Don't try and play it like a super unicorn, guys, because that's never gonna work and it's never gonna happen. Super unicorns are super unicorns for a reason. And it takes, if you haven't got that natural ability immediately, it takes skill to get to that level. So try and play the back chat correctly like a normal average player. And those are the games we're going to look at. Let's start with this game on Winter Malinovka. Now, if you're in a bat chat, you should be looking to go down and get those early spots here on Winter Malinovka. And you have to be mindful of that gun depression, something I clearly wasn't. Now, the thing about the bat chat is that you've got to carry on moving. Don't stay stationary, guys. If you stay stationary, you're going to have a bad time because everybody is going to be training their guns on you because you are the weakest tank on the battlefield. So you've got to keep active. Now the Batchat has a particularly nice gun. It is, to be fair, pretty accurate. And as I say, it hasn't got the worst camo profile, but look at the gun here. I mean, this is a distance, you know, we're getting some good shots in. But as you see there, the return fire nine times out of 10 is gonna pen you. So you've got to get back into cover. You've got to really keep your, I mean, this is a great shot in a moment by the Sheridan. You've got to keep yourself you know, safe. And that is the trick of playing the bat chat. Don't hang around. Because if you hang around, you're gonna get hurt. And the fact of the matter is, I mean, these are just terrible shots. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, that's a great shot from the Sheridan, to be honest with you. And my shots were just terrible. And I thought I was aimed on him, but hey, dispersion. Mm. So that's a bad day for me, leaving that battle. And like I keep telling you, relocate, relocate, relocate. Get yourself around the battlefield. Get yourself mobile. You know, it's harder for them to hit you when you are at speed. Believe me, you know, it's not easy for these tanks to train their guns upon you. And then you can get in and put all three shots in. Now, I'm not gonna set the world on fire with massive damage here. And as I keep telling everybody in my videos, the idea of the game is to win. Massive damage, master is, little golden M's come later. They're bonuses. Your ideal game is to win, okay? And therefore, I'm just showing you how you, you can play the bat chat to improve your chances of winning. And as you can see, we have moved around the battlefield, left, right, and center. We haven't really stayed stationary because when you do, as you see, you lose half your hit points. But we've churned out 1,300 damage. We managed to get some good shots in. That's certainly not setting the world on fire, but we've done enough. Now, thankfully, the guy in the pattern in this team is, is pretty clued up, so he knows what he's doing. So now we're going to go up, and we're trying to get some shots into this 50 TP. We get one in, you know, we're now up to 1700. That's a miss. We can get one into the Yeguru because he's a big tank, and we take him down. So we've got two kills. We've done 1800 damage. We're doing okay. And the thing you've got to remember about the bat chat, it has got a long load for that magazine. So you've got to just put yourself into a safe position wait for the timer to come down, wait for your magazine to reload, and then go and do it all again. He gets lucky there with the engine fire, and you know I'm not gonna finish him off, but I'm probably gonna get all the shells into him. I track him, I'm trying to get out of the way so the pattern can come around and smack him, which he does. And we win the game, and we end up shy of 3,000 damage. Don't bounce anything, we're in a bat chat. Take two kills. And that's not a bad game, I don't think, for me. I mean, I'm happy with that game. You know, 2,800, Killed two tanks, do 218 damage assistance. I get a third class. I'm happy with a third class. I'm one of the only YouTubers who will be happy with a third class because everybody wants to show you golden M's. I don't. I want to show you how the tank is in real life in the average player's hands. 
And as you can see there, we know we're second top damage. The Euro had a fantastic game, 4.6k, and the pattern really did help out. Between us, we got five tanks. So that is just one example of how I played the bat chat, constantly moving around, trying to find those targets and making sure that I've got cover, ample cover, left, right and centre. Let's have a look at another game, this time on Yukon. Here we are on Yukon, and don't forget, it's a bat chat, so it's a light tank. So what I'm trying to do initially is get those spots. That's my aim here. So I'm going to roll down here and do a big, wide, sweeping circle. Lucky there, I get the bounce on the, on the uh, spaced armour. I get a lot of spots, so I've spotted a lot of their tanks, and now I'm running away again because that's what you need to do in a bat chat. Now look, we all make mistakes and I make a couple of mistakes in this game here, I'm not going to lie. I overcook myself to an extent. And what I was trying to explain to you on the game in Winter Malinovka is don't stay still in this thing because it will be your undoing and it's my undoing here. I get one shot into the Leo, but it's a really poor trade because then everybody else manages to shoot me because I stayed still on top of a hill. Bad move by me, you know, pretty noobish, and I got punished for it. And that's the thing about the bat chat. You will get punished. So you need time to recollect yourself, find yourself that positioning whereby you can be relatively safe and then try to use the gun as best you can. Now, I'm trying to knock this 50 TP here, and you know what? He is just a big red tomato. He needs a tier nine, but you know, these things happen and you have to reevaluate yourself again. This is what I'm saying about the DPM being a misnomer because you know, you've know you got to high roll and pen every single shot. And if you don't, then you're not gonna be hitting the DPM, not in any way stretch, stretch of the imagination. And as you can see here, I'm struggling to pen that 50 TP, okay? And I don't like using Pramo a lot because I'm, I'm trying to get my accuracy up. And the way to get your accuracy up is by using standard ammunition to be honest with you, but I will use Pramo on occasion. Now we've only done 700 damage here and we've fired quite a lot, but the fact of the matter remains that we are using the back chat effectively. We are doing exactly what you need to do in a back chat. We did our spots, we've been a menace on the battlefield, okay, we've lost a lot of hit points, but that's not a problem. Now maybe we can do a bit of farming and we can and we're starting to hit this IS-4 and the IS-4, maybe we get one more into it. No, we can't because we're on the wrong reload because I forgot to reload the ammunition. So I'm going to use the mobility again. I'm going to push around into my spawn point, staying behind cover at all times in order to try and get into a position where I can get shots into these tanks. So the IS-4, now I can get him on the move, smack him, smack him again, and... Tried to smack him a third time, but didn't really have the opportunity. So come round, maybe take out the T-57. Yes, we do. And now we just got the uh, the IS-4 left, and somebody else can finish him off, hopefully, rather than me. And there we go. Okay, we only did 2,180 in damage. We take two kills. We're a menace to society. And we actually got a bounce, which was nice. And I enjoyed that game. Like, game, I'm not setting the world on fire. These aren't massive damage games, and again, it's only a third class. But you have to appreciate, this is a bat chat, okay? Now, as I keep telling everybody, for me, the idea is to get better at the tank and to get better at the game. And as you can see here, you know, I'm not top damage or anything like that, but we are okay. We did well, we contributed enough to make the game a winning game, and that's the thing. So here we now are, up and running, on canal and this is the last game i'm going to show you and, and talk about now canal is like a map design for the bat chat to be fair or any light tank to be honest with you it's a fantastic little map to run around in now we're going to struggle a little bit with this t22 because troll armor and everything and we've got a ricochet there now when i played this game i had a little bit of ping to be fair in fact that's a lie i had a lot of ping but i enjoyed the game now again what i'm trying to explain to everybody is don't stay immobile, okay? Do what you can to keep this tank on the move. And if you can't be on the move, do what you can to be in cover because you are going to get annihilated. 
Now, what I'm trying to do at the moment is consider my options, okay? Because I've got to be careful. I'm a very, very lightly armored tank. So everybody's gonna, gonna smack me. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to get shots into this, into this Mark VI, and I do, knocking for 940, but you can see my hit points are just going, because it's a bat chat. So now I'm trying to get to the rear, get behind these big TDs until I've reloaded so I can get back into the battle. Now there's a guy there from Vibes in the T22, and he's actually a good player, so I'm very, very, very mindful of him, but he goes, which is lucky for me. We've survived that, so now we've got to look at how are we going to do some farming. So I need to reset the camo first, because I was spotted. Now I have got a little bit of gun depression, not much, and I think that's a hit. I'm not sure, but I think it is. I don't know if that one is though, but I'm pretty sure I hit him with the first shout. It's not registering because it doesn't. Now, go backwards, reset your camo, reload your magazine, and relocate. All about mobility is the bat chat. And the grill makes a massive mistake here and carries on making a massive mistake, to be honest with you. Although then he gets hung up and stuck and there's nothing I can do about that, to be perfectly honest with you. Just the way it works. So I was expecting him to carry on going, but he's not going to, so I'm gonna try and go over there and I think he gets annihilated before I get there, which is a damn shame. I didn't need the kill anyway. So already we've done 1500 damage. Again, we're not setting the world on fire. I'm gonna reload the magazine because I know there's a 183 over in that corner somewhere. And that is who I'm going to be looking for. Now, the 183, if he's got Hesh and he knows what he's doing, can roll me massively. And I'm effectively a one shot. There he is. And he doesn't use Hesh, he uses AP which is his mistake because now I can just farm him. And I do, I'm already up to 3,187 damage even though it's only showing 2,600. So we've done 3K damage, somebody else has killed him. We're doing okay, just one tank left and it's a heavy and there he is over there. So now we're gonna try and get over to him. It's a TVP, it's not a heavy, sorry, it's a medium, the TVP. So we're gonna try and get over and uh, give the TVP a, a hard time. I am a one shot to him. We've got quite a few tanks left. They are, however, TDs. But, you know, I think this game's pretty much in the bag, to be perfectly honest with you. I've got to be careful of the TVP because he can knock me for six, and he may most likely will. Oh no, he's running away. So now I've got to chase him. I'm fully loaded, so it should be okay. Let's stick one in him. There we go. Bounced his track. Another one, and uh, maybe a third. Oh, he low rolls me. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, I miss him, and he kills me. But, you know, we do enough damage, and it's it's pretty much a win. The grill will go around, and excuse this grill player. I mean, what he was doing is beyond me. And as I said, I mean, when I played this game, I had terrible ping. I was ping spiking left, right, and center. But the fact of the matter is, we still win. We just still do decent damage. And... Uh, it's just painful to watch sometimes. But bless him, the grill player. He's a, he's a newish player. And, uh, you know, when you're a new player, it's never easy. And we end up winning. So it says that I did 2.9k damage. But that's not true. It's, uh, we actually did a lot more than that. Um, we actually churned out 3.5k. Didn't kill anything. And we get a second class for our troubles. Now, that is why I like the bat chat. Because... It's not as pants as everybody makes out. Now, it all depends on what your view is. I mean, if your view is you're only interested in doing massive damage games, then yeah, okay, the bat chat is not as good as the Vickers and it's not as good as the T100 LT in that respect. But the fact of the matter is you've got to be able to play those tanks to get that massive damage. Okay, now as I said, I, I'm a terrible player in the T100 LT. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful tank, it's a great tank, it's an amazing tank, it's a lovely tank, it's beautiful, amazing, you're great. But that's not the point, is it? I mean, the point is what you're comfortable in, what you like to play. And I'm comfortable in the bat chat, but it suits my style of play because with that being an auto loader, I know that I have got to be 
careful in it. I know I've got to nurture it. I know I've got to wait for that load time. I know all that kind of stuff. So it makes it in my head easier to play for me. Okay, it's as simple as that. But I, I, I don't fully necessarily agree that the bat chat is the worst tier 10, to be honest with you. I think it's a tricky tank, but as I said, I think all tanks at tier 10 are meant to be tricky, and it is a tricky tank. It's not the easiest of tanks, but at the end of the day, it's a lovely little tank. But as you can see, it's lightly armoured. And I enjoy playing the bat chat. You know, I think you can get a lot of damage out of this thing. I think if you play it correctly, then yeah, you know, you can do some really stonkingly high damage games in it. Don't get me wrong, because I think you can. Anyway, that's been my look and my take on the bat chat. By all means, you know, let me know how you feel. I've been Fujit, that's been the bat chat 25T, the little French tier 10 light tank. A tank that I actually like tank that I think has a lot of potential in a tank that I think really does get a bad reputation for all the wrong reasons and I think the reasons are is that the majority of the player base is just not playing it effectively and they're not playing it to its strengths and they're misplaying the tank pretty much like I misplayed the Sheridan for so long a lot of people are misplaying the bat chat and it's a shame really because it's a beautiful tank and I know a lot of people are not going to agree with me on that. A lot of people are going to think, no, it's terrible, Fuji. It's an awful tank. It really is the worst tier 10. And I don't think it is. I mean, by the way, the reason I didn't uh, comment on this replay is because we lose. Even though I do a, a stonking amount of damage, we, we eventually lose. Because, well, basically, um, I have a, uh, a TD who, who does nothing for the entire game. But that's the way it works. Anyway, as I said... I've been Fujit, that's been the Bat Chat, and I'd love to hear your comments in this one. So until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy. There's the TD.